Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate design strips for complex slabs in RAM concept. In this particular video, we will take a look at skewed design spans and learn how to modify the span cross-section orientation to adjust the reinforcement layout at these conditions. Now, as you can see on your screen, I'm already taking a look at the longitude design spans plan. When I'm thinking about span orientation, sometimes it might be nice to turn on your design strips on these plans. To do that, let's go to our visible objects icon in the standard toolbar. And we can ask the program to turn on our cross sections. This will show you where all of your design strips will be located for your particular model. And what we're specifically taking a look for is any type of skewed spans. Now, when can this happen? This can happen when you have an irregular column layout, for example, an offset between one column and at one end of a support and the adjacent column at the other end of the support. And it could also happen when the center line of your columns are not exactly lined up. We have that condition over here at the north end of the structure, if you notice, where we have two different sized columns and the design spans automatically go from center line of support to center line of support. Now what this will result in as far as reinforcement goes is it will result in skewed bars. So here we can see a more dramatic skew where we have an offset in our columns or an irregular grid layout and then we can also see a little bit of skewing over at the other end of the structure. Now, if I would like to detail these reinforcing bars as skewed, I can go ahead and leave my design strips as their default condition is, which is basically from center line of support to center line of support. For me, for this particular model, I would prefer to reorient all of my reinforcement orthogonal or basically parallel to either the global X or Y direction. Now, do I need to know the exact angle that I'm looking for? I actually don't because the program does provide me with a reorient span tool that I can use to adjust these cross sections. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna go ahead and select the design spans I want to modify. And actually for this model, I'm just going to go ahead and select all of them. Some of them are already oriented the way I would like, but for anything else, it'll go ahead and adjust them accordingly. So I've selected all of my design spans in this direction, and then I'm going to access this tool in the layer specific toolbars. This will orient the span cross sections. So I'll go ahead and click that. And what I want to do is I want to create this where it's parallel to the global X axis. Now I can select two points that are basically exactly in line with that axis, with that axis, or I can ask the program to step to orthogonal. So let's go ahead and click that. I'm gonna click anywhere on my screen, and then the snap to orthogonal tool will basically require the cursor to snap to either a point parallel to the global Y or X axis. And of course, for this direction, I'm going parallel to the X axis. Now, as I do that, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like visually. What you're gonna notice is that this tick mark is now parallel to the X axis. This will let you know that your span segments have been modified. Now, before I regenerate my strips, let's also take a look at that condition in the latitude direction. So here you can see, yeah, I do have a couple of situations in this direction as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my design spans, click on my snap to orthogonal tool, and ask the program to reorient my design spans. Here I'm gonna click anywhere on my screen, and then another point parallel to the global Y axis. Again, we're gonna be able to see this tick mark has been reordered. Now at this point, let's go ahead and regenerate 
our design strips. and perform a new calculation. After the new calculation is performed, we should be able to see your design strips visible on your screen if you had that type of object already turned on. Here I can see I no longer have those skewed design strips. And if I were to take a look at my reinforcement layout, I can see that all of my bars are parallel to the global X or Y axis, depending upon which direction I was taking a look at. Now at this point, I'm going to say I have adjusted all of my irregular column layouts as far as the span orientation goes. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.